In this tutorial, we will see how to work with the AWS CloudWatch. I have this Amazon Linux instance and it has your role. Let's see the role. This is the role. It has only one policy. The policy we need is the CloudWatch agent admin policy. Now, let's see what else we have here. I have port 80 open for this uh, server so we can access the Apache server which we will install now let's connect to our server in here I will go into sudo then I will update my cache let's update once we're done with the update we will install Apache using the command yum install patch uh, yum install httpd hyphen y and then we will enable the service okay let's do that now we've installed it and now let's enable the service it's enabled now we will add something here to the html file and then we will curl what we just added which is the hello the hello world that we see in here okay and we see it in here it says hello now let's cut our access logs and we see here one log it says that we accessed our server using the command curl it gives you the time it gives you the time and the date and everything now let's install the agent and then let's I mean download the agent then install it after that we will run the wizard in here we have some options I'll do one for EC2 one for root yes and keep the default part one I'll do four in here one yes 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 and for the resolution I'll do four basic and are you satisfied yes I am satisfied do you have an existing cloud watch log agent let's say no in here the default choice is one do you want to monitor any log files of course we do so yes and in here let's use this path in here that we just got it let's copy it and paste it in here okay default 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 do you want to specify any additional log files no we don't do you want to store yeah and keep default 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 and that's it now all we have to do is create this path and then let's add this file to the path now we will push to our locks after we do that we can go to our CloudWatch and see the logs that we just pushed. If you go to CloudWatch and log groups, scroll down, it's here at the bottom. And if we click it, we will see the same log that we saw in there for the curl now let's access it in a different way let's go back to EC2 and see our instance this is our instance let's copy the public IB and paste in here and it works in the next tutorial we will see how to work with the AWS SNS. This is it for this tutorial. See you in the next one.